We've seen the return of a legend on Raw, a real women's legend on Raw, and that is Amy Dumas, aka Lita. She made another appearance on WWE after Raw, coming to the aid of Becky Lynch and doing what we all want to do, and that is slam a steel cage door in Bailey's face. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling, here to discuss Lita's recent appearance. On Monday Night Raw, what that might mean for Lita's future, what that might mean for WWE's future, and what that might mean for a potential WrestleMania match with Lita and Bailey. The reason why I say Lita and Bailey could perhaps have a WrestleMania match is because it's been teased in the past. Bailey has come out on multiple occasions and said her dream match would be against Lita. Out of character, she said that. However, in character, she's also had a couple of digs at Lita online, saying how she's ready to go if Lita is, insinuating that if Lita's the one that's not in shape, Lita's the one that's past it. However, who knows? Maybe that has been building to a future match. We've got WrestleMania 39 this year in Hollywood. They're going to go all out. They're going to try and make the two nights as star-studded as they possibly can. And I think now, the fact that WrestleMania is two nights, they've got a lot of matches to fill up. So they kind of rely more, I think, on like legends, more on attractions now than probably ever before because the roster, if you take away the legends, if you take away the returning people, the roster at the moment is the worst it's ever been. But now they need to fill out two nights where they haven't had to do that in the past. So, but I mean, in the past, WrestleMania, you're maybe looking at like, what, 10 matches, 11 matches, but it's fair to say now, WrestleMania being two nights, you're probably looking at anything from about 15, 16, 17 matches over the space of two nights. So they do need to fill up more space on the card. And that could mean that Lita does in fact get in there. So would I like to see it? Yes. I think I would like to see Lita versus Bailey. I think Lita has shown whenever she does come back, she can still go to a decent standard. And of course, she is wrestling against other women. So the standard isn't that high to begin with. So I think Lita could definitely come back and do a good job. I would personally like to see it because Lita never got a WrestleMania singles match. I think it would be nice to see her go out that way. I mean, back in the Ruthless Aggression era, it is damn near criminal that Lita and Trish never had that singles match at WrestleMania. Now, there was a lot of obstacles in the way. <laughs> Either someone was injured or they already had a, a feud land into the show or one of them was like both were heels or both were faces so it, it just unfortunately it should have happened but it didn't happen and I don't think it's going to happen now you know it's it's unlikely that we're going to see two legends just return to face each other and that's not the way WWE really do things I mean we have seen Brock and Goldberg face each other However, I just don't think we're going to see that with Lita and Trish. I think Lita can do WrestleMania. I think Trish can do WrestleMania. You could perhaps maybe even see them as a tag team. However, I don't think we're going to get Lita versus Trish. So unfortunately, it'll have to be Lita versus someone else. And I mean, why not Bailey? I mean, Lita's not going to win a title. Bailey's not got a title. So I think Bailey versus uh, Lita could be a good match and I, I would like to see it and another thing is I mean Lita actually back in the day she got over organically she was as popular as a lot of the mid card guys this was before they forced this women's revolution on us and they they begged you to like the women as much as you like the guys because back then I mean Lita maybe only got a five minute match Lita maybe only got the odd you know promo but now you look at Raw and it's 50-50 50% of Raw is men, 50% of Raw is women. They're pushing these women down your throat. They're just handing them main event matches. Back in the day, Lita and Trish earned a main event match on Monday Night Raw. Not nowadays where they, where they have to give the women the main event just so they can promote equality and all this bullshit. So yeah, I would like to see Lita get a WrestleMania match. She definitely deserves it. And I think Lita versus Bailey could be pretty good. So yeah. That's my thoughts on it. I'm sick of Charlotte Flair claiming she's the best women's wrestler of all time. No one even likes Charlotte Flair. Everyone fucking loves Lita. Everyone loves Trish. I mean, people can't even stand Charlotte Flair. So how can she be the best of all time? She's just someone who's shoved down her throat, constantly handed title after title, 
because she's blonde, she's like, you know, pretty tall and her second name's Flair. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. And there's no way Charlotte Flair is more popular than Lita or Trish. Never in a million years. But they have to pretend, oh, she's Charlotte Flair. She's Ric Flair's daughter. She's the current woman. She saved women's wrestling. She's, you know, she's the building force behind the women's revolution. Fuck, fuck Charlotte Flair, right? No, no one likes her. She's boring and her face is full of fucking plastic, man. Recycle Charlotte Flair or throw it in the trash can. I don't want to see it either way. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Raw review coming later on tonight. Till then, though, peace.